Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is an elimination MMA bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the men's flyweight division. Out of the red corner, Miguel Morales. More flyweight MMA action coming up for us. And Mr. Morales coming out with a bit O energy. Lots of energy. Can't wait to see it translated in this <laughs> fight. Lightning bolt on the shirt and our first pink hoodie of the evening. I love that kind of energy. I love seeing guys that are just happy to be in the cage, doing what they love. A happy fighter is a dangerous fighter, so <laughs> I'm excited to see how this, uh, this goes. Into the cage goes. Out of the blue corner, Jay Ponder. Mr. Ra Morales representing 10th Planet Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Denver, Mr. Ponder comes to us. Our first. 10 fighter of the evening. We've got a couple of folks from that gym on the card tonight. 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu, so you're coming in to strike, is what you're saying. <laughs> and quite intense. Looking is Mr. Ponder this evening. But at a 10th plan of jujitsu wearing Muay Thai trunks, uh, really showing off he's a well rounded <laughs> fighter. Actually, Ponder represents B10. Oh, okay. Morales is uh, <laughs> the BJJ. So Morales, 23 years old, shorter of the two at 5'4, made the 125 pound weight, has a good record at 2 and 1 as an MMA stylist. Let us know about Mr. Ponder. Jay Ponder, age 27, standing at 5'11", being the taller fighter, weighing in 125 pounds. I don't know how he got down that far. Wow. With a record of three and four, style is mixed martial arts. So looking to try to up his record to the 500 mark. And like you said, 125, but almost six feet tall. My goodness, that is a lean fighter. You'd assume you drop weight classes so you have a, a, an equal height advantage, but <laughs> turns out that's not true at all. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is an elimination MMA bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the men's flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the King of Beers Budweiser red corner. He is a mixed martial artist standing five foot four inches tall. He weighed in at 125.9 pounds with 10th Planet Denver high altitude MMA. From Denver, Colorado, Miguel the Yellow Flash Morales! That explains his lightning bolt. Yellow Fighting flash. Estrella Helico Blue Got Corner. It. He is a mixed martial artist setting 5 foot 11 inches tall. He weighed in at 126 pounds. With V10 training out of Aurora, Colorado, Jay Slaughterhouse Bonder! So the pacing high intensity of Morales versus your the instructions. Protect yourself stoic at all time and intense intense my commands. If you want to touch gloves, touch now. God bless and let's do this. Let's see how the height difference plays out in this fight. That is an extraordinary reach advantage, both arms and legs. Round one, are you ready? Are you ready? Ready? Let's do this. Guys, take the center equally. 
Morales quick with his footwork, footwork gets in on a double. Going to try to negate some of that hide advantage immediately, but Ponder, Ponder a great does. job with the scramble, ends up with back control. And the belly to back suplex for Ponder. Oh, and wraps up the rear naked choke, and that is oh, tight. That is quick. He's got to put those hooks in or he's going to lose it. Oh, but he's right back to it. Now with one hook in, Morales needs to start fighting that grip. Wow, great, great job by Morales to survive this He's far. still rolling. you, you yeah. got to start pinning your back to the, the canvas. Protect your neck. Ponder oh, stays he's getting with extended. the choke. Wow, that is some grit in Morales. Oh. But Morales goes out. Ponder with the early victory, ups his record to 500. Wow, what a great job in the scramble by Mr. Ponder. Morales initiated the takedown, but unfortunately, Ponder was able to reverse it and take that back. Yeah, of course, you and I were stuck talking about what a great height and reach advantage Ponder had. Standing, boy, use those long limbs to his advantage in the jiu-jitsu game as well. Being long limb makes it easier to take that back and, and control. And take back control, he did. <laughs> More high bafter his fight than he ever showed coming into the case. Like I said, he was the, the intense, but stoic one. Now he's signaling he wants a chance for the bell. And a little Dover action, little dance work there. I mean, it looks good with a win for sure. <laughs> Very impressive the way he hooked up the Renaka choke before he had his hooks in. Yeah, Morales fought that choke for much longer than I thought he was going to be able to, but once uh, once able to get control of the hips, Honda got the squeeze and, and the victory. Good, good to see Morales up and has his wits about him. Take it up to Stewie for the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ojeda called a stop to this bout. 49 seconds into the first round. Declaring your winner with the TKO, Jay Slaughterhouse Ponder. They called it the TKO victory because Morales refused to tap. So not a submission, but a TKO. Referee stopped it when Morales went out. Congratulations, Mr. Pond.